Telecoms Organization Regional Training Centers in East and Southern Africa. And we have also an e-campus. We offer Tiveta accredited certificate and diploma courses, which include certificate in tax administration, certificate in customs, diploma in tax administration, and diploma in customs administration. In partnership with KIFWA, we also offer the East African Customs and Freight Forwarding Practicing Certificate. We can also uh, partner with your organization to assist you in capacity building for your staff through training, research, and consultancy. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me, as I conclude, to share with you a quote from the late Nelson Mandela, who underscored the importance of education by articulating that, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world, end of quote. I believe this is, this is, I believe it is for this very reason that you have congregated here today and sincerely hope that this event will be a success as you aim to ensure quality education for our children. For more information about the school and KRA, please visit our stand, which is situated uh, in the exhibition area. And we request you to remain compliant. Uh, with these few remarks, and before I conclude, our CS, uh, we normally say uh, being a teacher is a noble profession. Uh, these people gathered here are professional. Those in some quarters we are never recognized. And I normally tell the parents and the guardians, if you thought you knew how to train your child, then why not leave or stay with the child at home? But even if they stay with the child at home, they can never train them. You send your child to us who are teachers, the first day they know how to wipe their noses because of the competency-based training. We therefore look forward to welcoming you for the 16th Annual Delegates Conference, Mr. Chiang. We are preparing for that. This is our facility. We may have faced a few challenges, which you are also facing in your schools. But since this is our institutions, we use them. And I'm sure if this year you give me in a test and you give me 50%, Mr. Chairman, I'm sure I'll improve next time. So you have to give me another chance to prove that I can get 80%. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Sante Sana. I, never, I forgot to say my name. I forgot to say my name. My name is John Langat, the principal. Uh, Sante Sana Mwalimu, I know we were with you when we were handling the Kenya Secondary School Aids Association. So once again, colleagues, I would want to most sincerely thank you. One, I want to thank you as our center managers sitting at the Council of the Kenya National Examination Council we would want to most sincerely thank you for the good work that you did. We know you woke up every morning to go to the container, go went back again in the afternoon to return the scripts. And uh, I would not want to preempt the CS because I think we ran one of the most professional examinations this year. And we can celebrate. We can celebrate that every of our child who did the examination got their results because you acted well and therefore, there was no malpractice that led to the cancellation of results over our children. So once again, my colleagues, thank you very much because you did us proud. You are, they say, where the rubber meets the road is yourself. And therefore, you know where a pothole is and how it feels to hit a pothole on high speed. And therefore, we would want to acknowledge the continued good work that you are doing and the partnership and the leadership that you have provided. We cannot say more than that, and the CS will be able to say that. In terms of the CPC, we've not seen any other time that our teachers are so engaged when they are with our young ones. Thank you for your leadership on that particular area, and we would want to thank you for the continued support and the service that you are giving to our young people. Like I've said before, I think in this forum, as a teacher, I'm a teacher myself, I taught at high school for some time, is that we are a provision that God gave an opportunity to co-create our young people. We are co-creators of human beings because we are given a mind, 
and we are able to mold that particular mind to be what it is that we want it to be. And therefore, as we serve our Creator, as we serve and give that service which God gave us to co-create a human being, let's do it in the right way. And let's do it and be proud that we have done it right. And we shall always walk high knowing that we did our service and we gave the best that we were required to give. You know, the only person, you know, up to this day, I meet quite a number of people, and they are able to say, Abariyako Mwalimu. You know, you might not be able to know them, but they know you because you made a difference in their life. Let's continue making that difference in the people of this country. Let's be the people that will make a difference in all that needs to be made. When it comes to the question of integrity, we are the first people that we can mold the, right, the young people to the right path. Let's do it in the best way that is there. I want to acknowledge, and I know that there are challenges. And we acknowledge the challenges. The resources will never be enough. I know we are trying to optimize what we have. Currently, as government, we are setting aside for 13.4 billion shillings towards capitation. And CS will tell you that as a sector, we consume a whole 480 billion shillings of our, two point, our 3 billion shillings budget, going towards 30% of the budget. It may not be enough, but it is a huge jungle of what is available in government. We shall continue to make sure that we optimize on that particular resource. We shall continue to engage ourselves with our colleagues in government to see ways in which we can be able to make it easy for you to run your schools. But we all appreciate that this resource is not so elastic. We have an envelope, an envelope to work from. But the CS, I can assure you, has always been able to defend our case in cabinet. He will continue doing it. And one day, we shall be able to make it even better for you to run our schools. But we thank you most sincerely for the work that you are doing. As an accounting officer, I'm already engaging with my colleague in the Ministry of uh, in the National Treasury so that by the time you open your schools, we shall have been able to mobilize adequate resources to be able to release to you as capitation. <laughs> my brother, who is teaching and heading the Kenya School for Revenue uh, Education at the Kenya Revenue Authority, he talked about our, our director, our commissioner general. You know, every day he collects money. Whatever he collects is what he gives us to make sure that you are comfortable. In January, I can tell you, the Ministry of Education, particularly State Department of uh, Early Learning and Basic Education, we have placed a request of 40 billion shillings for capitation for both secondary and primary. And you know, like a good father, you'll always go out to make sure that you collect resources, but you know you are in a very big family of uh, 22 children, and each of that child is asking of something. And sometimes they cry to say that one of the child one of the children is benefiting more than the others. We are that child in Ministry of Education. Oh, the other children are complaining that you are taking a huge jungle of the Ukali. But uh, you know we are molding the future. If you don't invest in the young ones, and you don't, if you don't invest in your children, then you are putting yourself to failure as a country. So we shall continue to engage and make sure that the 40 billion shillings that we need in January will be available before you open your schools.